Here we go. Let me lift you up. We'll go right to the top. Let the sun come up. Together we can fly. All our hearts collide. Stay here by my side. I say we jump, we fly, we reach out to the sky. And it goes on and on and on and on and on. And we go on and on and on and on. And it goes on and on and on and on and on. And we go on and on and on and on. We're gonna fly, high, be alive. Yeah. We're gonna fly, high, be alive. Yeah. We're gonna fly, high, be alive. Padami na padami ang crowd natin ngayon. Para silang stem cell, nagmumultiply. <laughs> Alam mo, Susan, Anna, kahit na maraming karamdaman yung mga nag-guest dito sa ating show, talagang kakaiba itong show natin. Lagi tayong masaya, di ba? Yeah. Kaya nga tinawag na be alive, di ba? Kasi masaya talaga. Kaya ho, yun ang kakaibahan natin. Yeah. Kaya po na kami laging masaya kasi naipakikita po namin sa inyo kung paano na ibibigay ang lunas sa mga may karamdaman. Panoorin po natin ang kwento ni Tita Theft Estreta at ang laban niya with Parkinson's disease. Year 2001. Unang-unang hindi ko pinapansin kasi nagte-tremor. Na konti lang naman ang tremor. Sabi ng mga kaibigan ko, napasma daw ako. So okay lang, pinababayaan ko lang. Pero after five years na gano'n ang umalakas, saka sumasakit ang buko kong katawan mula ulo hanggang pa. Grabe, inside my brain parang pinipigayan. Ang, ano ko, ang batok ko, may indalawang ugat diyan na mamaga. Hindi ako makalingon, hindi ako maka, maka, makalingon ng maayos. Kasama ako tawang ko pagka ako lilingon. Meron ako dito sa shoulder blade, left shoulder blade na matigas, parang goma. Kaya pag kinuturokan daw ng kwaya, parang nagtuturok ng goma ng gulong ng sasakyan. Meron akong chest pain. May, meron akong high blood. Meron akong... Uh, masakit na back pain dito at ang aking paa na mamaga. Parang yung aking alak-alaka na mamaga. Hirap na hirap akong sumuk, lumakad. Hirap na hirap na magsalita kagaya ngayon. So everything is painful from head to foot. Hirap na hirap ako for 10 years. Hindi ako, wala ang balance ko. Pag maglalakad ako, naputumba na lang ako ganoon. Hindi ako makatayo. Pagka ako'y nahihiga, it takes 15 minutes for me to get up. At pagka medyo na malas-malas pa, na out of balance ako, yung arinola, tsaka ako, twice na ako natumba sa, ba sa banyo kasi sa po, ang sak-sak na nga ng katawan ko. Tapos ganito pa, yung sufferings ko. Kasi wala na ba, wala na ba akong makukuha anything that could address my Parkinson's. Wala akong maisip. Pero paborito ako ng mga networker. Pag nakita ng gakalug-kalug ako, pupuntahan na agad ako, bibigyan ako ng produkto. Kaya nung dalawin ako ng aking mga kaibigan, na halos hindi na ako makakilos, sabi nga nila, kita try mo lang, bigay na namin sa'yo yan. Binigyan ako ng isang banig po ng laminine. That was, la, ito lang April. Nung itry ko, nawala ang pain. Then, walang-wala yung pain ko sa utak, yung pain kong back pain dito, at saka yung, yung aking hypertension, Nag-normal, laboratory test ng aking uh, blood test at saka sa urinalysis, puro normal. Except doon sa aking x-ray, ang nakuha nila, lumalaki daw po ang puso ko dahil sa pagod ng pagtitremor. So, you know, sobrang hirap. Pero ngayon, ngayon ako'y naglalaminay. 
Medyugaling kasi ako sa sakit, kaya malakas ang tremor. Nung ako'y maglaminay, malaking bagay po sa akin yung, yung mawala ang pain at yung pag-asa na may, pwede pa pala ho akong gumaling. May bonus pa po, na wala ho ang aking mga kulbot. Bumata daw ako ng 10 years. Ang maganda po, nun ho ako dyan ito, natutuho akong lumapit sa Diyos. Lord, pagod na po ako. Kung pwede po, bigyan niyo pa ako ng mahabang buhay para magamit niyo naman ako sa ministry. Yun lang naging hiling ko. Pero parang, parang inutusan ko si Lord. Lord, pagalingin mo ako. Pag hindi ako pinagaling, magagalit ako sa Kanya. Ay sabi ko, kailangan po kung pagagalingin niyo ako. Total and complete recovery. Because I really want wasted ng time ko eh. Nung bata-bata ako, hindi ako nakalapit si Lord. Pero ngayon, natutuwa akong lumapit sa Kanya. Let's welcome Tita Pet Estrera and her laminine homeboys. Be alive. We'll be right back. We'll see ya. Welcome po sa Be Alive. Napakaganda po ng kwento niyo, Tita Tet. At talaga pong marami pong na-inspired talaga. You know, it was really fantastic. Alam mo, Susan, nung nakita ko siya sa Christmas party natin, na sumasayaw ka, my goodness, that was really unbelievable. Parang milagro, no? Oo. Oh. Ilang taon na po ninyong dinadam ang Parkinson's disease? 12 years of excruciating pain from head to foot. Wala na pong makakatulad, hindi ko na rin mo describe kung how painful it is. That pain is very profound dun sa aking brain. Okay. Para po yung pinipisa. Okay. Tapos kasama po yung dalawang shoulders ko na masakit na masakit din po kasama ang joints. Hindi na ho nahiwala yung pain 24 hours a day and 7 days a week. That's how miserable I am. And nadidepress na nga ako during the time na... In, na pasyalan po ako nila apply And uh, alam ko po na meron po kayong mga uh, angels. Okay? okay. I, I have to call them angels dahil hindi nila kayo iniwanan. Yes! Nila. Susan! Anna! Yeah. And dito mga angels niya. Anthony, would you like to say something? Ah, good morning, Anna. Good morning. Oh, si Tita Ted, we considered her as my tita and long-time friend kasi matagal na kaming naghahanap ng tita ng solution sa aming health. Pareho kami may mga health problem, no? Kaya nung makita namin at narinig yung ganda ng laminahin, hindi na kami nagdalawang isip na painumin agad si Tita Ted, no? Para matulungan namin siya at kami rin yung sarili namin at maraming pang tao ang matulungan namin sa pag-share ng product na. Galing! Ang swerte talaga ng Tita Tet, itong mga laminators na talagang pilit nilang hinahabol kung nasan si Tita Tet para matulungan. <laughs> Tita Tet, napakaraming nagmamahal sa inyo. Talagang confirmed na laminine po ang nakatulog sa inyo. After makubos ko po yung six na capsule, okay. yung masakit na masakit na brain ko, nawala. Wow, praise the Lord. At Tita Tet, kung aking yung pong aking batok na namamaga ang ugat, hindi na ako makakilos na ganyan, nawala na rin po. You went through a lot. Talagang nag-suffer kayo. Opo. No? Pero hindi pa rin po, hinikilabutan ako, hindi pa rin po kayo nawala ng pag-asa na subukan ang lahat ng dumarating sa inyong uh, palagay niyong makakatulong. Ako po ay paborito ng mga may daladala ng herbal supplement dahil <laughs> sa, kakapit niyan dito sa patalim natin dahil gusto yung naghahanap siya ng treatment. At uh, uh, lahat na lang po in-entertain ko talaga dahil ang sakit, gusto ko naman nung ma-relieve. Tama po. Grabe po ang ano. Tama po. Gusto po natin ipa-share ipa sa ating televiewers na maraming paraan. Huwag po kayong mawala ng pag-asa dahil po ang buhay natin ay kailangang mabuhay tayo ng with life. Oh. We have to be alive. Siya naman ang no? ating Siya angel. Siya naman ang angel ng marami. Yes. Yes. Diba? Napakabuti po ng Diyos. At natagpuan ko ang kumpanyang may puso. Uh, may compassionate heart. 
And even Tita Ana, hindi ko in-expect. In-expect, mga suplandita yan eh. <laughs> And she's so concerned. Kaya po, maraming, maraming, maraming salamat po. Dahil ngayon pa lang, in front of everybody, feeling ko na po ako'y forever rich. Rich in health. Yes. Rich in wealth. Yes. And rich in friends. Yes! I love you all. I love you all. God bless us all. Next is the story of my own mother, stewardess po siya nung kabataan niya. 81 years old na po siya ngayon, and she has been suffering from blepharospasm for 25 years. Panoorin niyo po ito. 81 years old, and I had blepharospasm for 25 years. My eyes started blinking uh, uncontrollably kept on just blinking and blinking until the point where uh, it would just shut off completely. I started bumping cars in front of me <laughs> because I couldn't control uh, the spasms in my eyes. At the beginning, they thought it was the eyes and this was a mistake because I had an operation that was not supposed to. So instead of improving it, it became worse. Finally, we found a doctor that was aware of this blepharospasm. According to him, there was no cure for that kind of um, sickness. The next alternative was just to have Botox injections in the eyes to control the eyes from shutting off. At the beginning, because the doctors were not yet very well versed on this particular disease, uh, they would just inject the eyes without any anesthesia. And you can just imagine how painful it is to have 14 injections in the eyes without any anesthesia. One day, my daughter came <laughs> and told me, Mommy, why don't you try laminar? I took one in the morning, one in the evening, and two the next morning, and my face stopped twitching. After 25 years, I got my life back again. We have our panel of doctors with us today, Anna. Yes, on our right, we have Dr. Rosario Austria, Doctor of Internal Medicine and Integrative Medicine, Fellow of American Board of Anti-Aging Rejuvenation Medicine, Founder of Past President of Pecan Phil College for Advancement of Medicine. Welcome, Doctor. Good morning. <laughs> we have uh, Dr. Lito Fruto. Welcome to our show. Optometry, ophthalmologist, doctor of uh, naturopathy. Naturopathy. Okay. <laughs> Himself. I know. You know, 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 and also author of two books, Quantum Resonance Energy and Miracle Frequency. He, and he has done extensive research in the area of natural energy and in the field of vibrational medicine, bioenergetic, zero-point Point. energy, and hydrotherapy vortex. He also has done extensive training in personal development training. My gosh. Yeah. Wow. Rabe, Thank you. Wow. Yes. As you can see, we have a very impressive lineup of doctors as our guests. Um, doctors, can we ask you about our cases today? We have um, Parkinson's disease and we also have blepharospasm. Uh, Dr. Frudo, can we start off with you? What are your thoughts on uh, laminide in relation to Parkinson's disease? Well, uh, with the presence of the 22 amino acids uh, contained inside laminide and the profoundness of the proto-embryonic stage extra and the uh, fibroblast growth factor, it synergistically adapt 
to the lesions of the brain because of the adaptogen and the uh, adaptative um, qualities of the components, they take the form of the missing lesions in the brain and functions uh, normally. Dr. Uh, Yap, uh, maybe you can also expound a little bit, no? because uh, Dr. Fuda was talking about laminine yes, being an yes. adaptogen. So what does that mean, really? Well, um, basically what it does is actually when the, su uh, the supplement is uh, taken into it, the, the brain, hypothalamus, will start to react. And it sends a signal to the pituitary gland, which is the front part of the pituitary gland, to secrete uh, certain hormones into the body, right? One of the main hormones, which is human growth hormones, which goes all the way down to the liver. From the liver itself, it produces IGF-1, insulin growth hormone 1, insulin growth hormone factor number 2, and uh, also alpha and beta. What it does is actually, that is known as the replication of cells. That is why that's, that builds back the missing link with, uh, uh, with, with the entire thing. So, so the amino acid plays uh, uh, the, uh, the most crucial and essential role in the whole entire process. Dr. Austria, um, one of our guests also today is my mother who had uh, blepharospasm. In fact, uh, the effect on her was so dramatic and so quick and so fast. Can you explain, Doctor, how laminine does this for the brain? Because of the amino acids in laminine, it is capable of forming different peptides, whatever the body would need. And because of the very unique ingredient called fibroblast growth factor, this directs the body to make whatever peptide which the body needs and these peptides work as messengers for the cells they are the ones who give directions to the cells so whether you become a neurotransmitter to make uh, dopamine for Parkinson's or you give a signal to the cell to make the cell relax like in blepharospasm you know you have to form these peptides to communicate with the cell and that is how laminine works wow fantastic so you know i know that dr leslie is going to fly out today to malaysia yes, yes. So, yes. and i also know that you have committed to come back and uh, you know dr Absolutely. leslie has committed to give a seminar in uh, early March, you know, first week of March. So uh, we'll invite our televiewers to come yes, and watch yes. that. that. But meanwhile, can you please tell us what laminine is about? Well, scientifically, there, yeah. there are a lot of scientifically prove, proven uh, journal, medical journals and all that. But what, what's important in the Philippines today, people really need this product because the depression rate are, too, are, are very, very high even around the world. When I saw the product, when I tried uh, and I did my due diligence and I, find that I found that this is the key product for mankind, for humanity. When you drink laminine, which one will it trigger first? Well, basically, it sends a signal to the hepatotomist from the brain itself. It, it triggers every single part of your body every single part of your body that is why you see a lot of very effective testimony because as a doctor we, we cannot actually outsell the product but what we can do is that we share more about the products i believe that all the doctors here the panels here they all have fantastic good hearts right and you mentioned depression doctor yes so laminine helps depress people oh yes yes oh, yes, how, yes. How because one of the elements is actually to, to top out the dopamine in, into the body right as mentioned by uh, dr austria and we right. have the serotonin, which serotonin, is also a yes. natural antidepressant. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And no side effect. It doesn't have any side it effect. It doesn't have side effect. It gives a lot of special effects. Oh. Special <laughs> I know Dr. Fudo is a fantastic speaker, you know, and every time he comes over, he has a lot of people listening to him also. Uh, doctor, can you please uh, give us a little more information about Laminine? Uh, what's so special about Laminine is that we have something unique that nobody else has, and that is the oligopeptide transporter 9. The the very purpose of the OPT9 is that it delivers the nutrients that we put into our body to the places where it's needed the most, as opposed to other available supplements. We don't have that. They don't have that. Even our own body doesn't have OPT9. OPT9 is that, uh, can you explain it a little bit more, doctor, because our televiewers don't know what it means, uh, OPT9. Uh, OPT9 is the oligopeptide transporter 9. The peptides are the binders of the amino acid. So okay. they, they pick up the nutrients and deliver it to the parts of the body where it's needed the most. That's why it's very profound. All right, doctors, we were talking about amino acids. So this is basic. Is this what laminine does? It, it, what does it do to the amino acids? I mean, we've been talking about this the whole time. Well, amino acids are the basic unit to make 
proteins or the sub subunit of the protein is a peptide. I taught biochemistry. And as I mentioned, I have been using injectable peptides which are very expensive for three years now. And you cannot communicate with the cells unless you have the peptides. They attach to the receptors of the cells and give the directions to the cells what the cell is going to do. Is it going to be a sick cell? Is it going to be a normal cell? Will it be a cell that will produce the hormones and the, and the substances, the neurotransmitters that we need? That is what the peptides are. And those peptides are very expensive, but because of laminine, we can get them cheaper because we make our body produce our own peptides instead wow. of us having yeah. to Absolutely. buy them very expensive. Yes, What do you think about laminine? I mean, there are a lot of people saying that we have doctors, we have hospitals, they say, oh, don't take anything orally, especially from an animal. Okay, I mean, stem cells, all this controversy. Can you please give us light, shed some light on this, please? Very simple. Don't take anything synthetic. Take everything natural. And laminine, yes. laminine, laminine is natural. natural. Yes. yes. So what are you saying, doctor? Please expound a little bit on this, doctor, because we have a lot of controversy on well, what's going on. Well, number one, if you look at our amino acid in our body, it's, it's 191 to be exact. So, so laminine has all the elements which is needed for the body, right? If those people skeptical and all that, just share with them clinical facts, right? You do not fight with them at the end of the day. It's your own life. And we do have clinical studies. Now, absolutely. I'd absolutely. like to ask something. You know, we have nakita yun naman kung ano katatalino nito mga ano natin. At saka passionate. Galing talaga sa puso nila. Lalo na si Dr. Austria. Talagang feel na feel mo. Hindi mo na kailangan marinig yung sasabihin. Tignan mo na lang yung mata niya. Personally po, I, I don't want to put you on the spot. Pero... Can you please share with us, are you taking laminine, Dr. Austria? Yes, definitely I'm taking laminine. You know, I, like I said, I went through a whole fellowship of anti-aging and rejuvenation, and I have to learn how to prescribe hormones. But yet, I've seen some effects with laminine that I've seen better with the hormones, really? some of the hormones. For example, one of your hormone, which goes down with menopause, number one is progesterone, and it really affects your sleep. Yet, when it comes to laminine, I have some patients who had better sleep with laminine than with the progesterone. At saka, doctor, so that's an ha, example. I have, to, I have to tell you this. From the first time I saw you when we introduced laminine, you look much, much younger. So, I'm sure your friends have told you that, right? Nakakakuha kayo ng compliment, yes. di ba? Yes. I think so, Dr. Leslie, are you taking laminine? Yes, absolutely, because uh, before I took laminine, I, I, I have uh, gout, right? After mm. taking laminine, no gout about it. No. <laughs> <laughs> and Dr. Pluto? Taking laminine is an yeah. understatement. I thrive on laminine. Oh. It's the one that keeps me alive right oh now. My wow. Initially, we introduced you as having, uh, you had leukemia fourth stage leukemia. And was it laminine that uh, got you on track, got you better, or was it something else? As, um so to speak, laminine was the last nail in the coffin, or the final nail in the coffin. I had my uh, stem cell infusion from stage 3, it went down to stage 1, but still, it's still stage 1 cancer. Yes. And then when laminine came on board, or without me telling everybody, even my family members, uh, when Tita Susan introduced laminine to me last November, I started taking it. Uh, as of March, no, May of, of last year, when I had my uh, general checkup with three hospital uh, oncologists, they told me that the cancer cells are all inactive or... Fantastic. Yeah. Hey, that's, come on. That's, that's, wow. Wow. So fantastic because I remember you even bought a coffin. <laughs> yes, exactly. Wow. Yes. Thank you, doctors. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We hope to have you back again. And sa lahat po ng tagapanood natin, it is our hope that through our program, Be Alive, nagkaroon po kayo ng panibagong pag-asa that even the most difficult cases can be addressed in natural ways as explained by our panel of doctors here. And if you have any suggestion related to today's topic, you may reach us through the numbers flashed below. When we get back, we'll introduce to you Christina Rivera. Mama ko po ito. Wag po kayong aalis.
Hi, Tita. Nice Hi. to have you here. Thank oh, you. Look at you. <laughs> 81 yeah. years old. Take yeah. note of her high heels. Alam mo, Tita? Mga kaibigan, gorgeous. si Tina, nananay ni Ana, kapatid ko. Alam niyo, nung Pasko, talaga lahat kami pagod na pagod na kasi shop till you drop. Kita Maggie, hindi kayang gamutin ang lamin na yan, ha? Yung mga shop ako ulit. <laughs> Susan, kita Maggie, ikwento ko lang sa inyo kung paano nangyari sa mama ko kasi ako yung promotor ng lamin na yun sa kanya. Uh, actually, due na siya para sa botox niya, no? Because para matigil yung spasms sa mata niya, kailangan niyang uh, to have seven botox injections per side of her face. And naawa oh. naman ako, sabi niya sa akin, bigyan mo naman ako ng laminine. So binigyan ko siya ng laminine, isa sa umaga, isa sa gabi. Naku, wala nangyari. So sabi ko, next day, bigyan natin ulit, dalawa naman, no? So, eh, breakfast siya, naligo. Alas 12 ho, wala pang alas 12, kumakatok na ho sa pinto ko. Tapos ang sabi sa akin, Wait, oh, open the door, open the door. Sabi ko, ano nangyayari? May sunog ba? Ano ba? <laughs> Tapos sabi niya, sabi niya, look at my face. Look at my face. Look naman akong ganyan. Naalipungatan pa nga ako. Look akong ganyan. Aba, sabi niya, look at my face. It's straight for the first time. It's <laughs> Look at my face, look at my face. Eh, well done. <laughs> Sandali. Eto na pala naging problema namin. Di sinabi ko kay mami, naku ma, mahirap itong problema natin ngayon. Maghahanap tayo ng ibang doktor. Sabi niya, bakit? Eh sabi ko, pupunta tayo sa mental ito dahil puro kang ngiti ka ng ngiti. Isa talaga. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Don't mind. Be it! Be Alive would like to thank the following.